and all the way back around to the elevator. Action time seem a little bit boosted. I'm gonna unequip the shotgun when we ride the elevator because it clips through the elevator door and I don't like it when it does that. It does stick quite a ways out from the actual end of the weapon, so I don't know what I don't know what I should expect. We'll also need this in the coming area. If I decide to fight it out, which I might not, because they are Crazy durable when you're not playing in New Game Plus, and we are playing in New Game Plus, so they're gonna be even worse! Even worse! What the There's hell? Roger! Hitching a ride in the elevator. We won't encounter him for another hour, so don't worry about it. Yeah, he T1000 that shit. What I don't get is that I had the impression that we had gone up. So, how did he jump on the elevator? Like, that doesn't make sense. We went- we went up. Did he cling to the bottom of it? Oh yeah, and then this guy who- Excellent! A perfect shot of our hero who destroyed the monster. <laughs> You're from Special yeah, Forces, Marines, right? All right? You came to destroy this facility. <laughs> I'm Travis Miller, freelance journalist. Uh, I've been investigating this facility for five years. Something suspicious about this place. I finally managed to sneak in, and all of a sudden, I I'm in a horror movie. What the hell happened here? I Answer me. I still suspect that this guy. They knows didn't more tell than you anything. There was an accident here, a big one. An accident? What kind? They lost control of something they were researching here. Probably some bio-weapon. I'm going to ground facility building B. Sorry, How no, do I get there game. from here? Oh, oh, that's where your friends are, huh? This could be another chance for a big scoop. Are you going to tell me or not? Hey, take it easy. Go out into the snowfield and look for the bright lights. They look like stadium lights. You can't miss them. The building under the light without an awning is building B. But find the control room first. You also might want to hang on to this. Now, if you don't mind, I'll keep looking around. I'm going to get the story of the century here. Or you'll get turned into monster food. his business card. Some tools were in the boiler room adjacent to the freight elevator and Arctic Parka. We're actually going to need that. Arctic Parkas are required for outdoor activities in the extreme cold of the South Pole. A control room is in the back connected to the water. George Harlan? Fake absorbing... So something is something is throbbing and pulsating and possibly turgid. I when I was a kid I spent so much time trying to figure out just just to come fucking here. Because the camera does you no favors. It's hidden behind a goddamn thing. And I didn't read the thing back then, I didn't know. Because I was young and dumb, as we all were. Or still are. I'll open it, but we can't get what we need down there for a bit. We need the uh, beta access card, I think. It? Yeah, we need the beta access card. Yeah, this theme is right off of John Carpenter's thing. Do not tell me that they did not rip it off.
thing I killed a moment ago managed to damage the insulation on my suit with its last flailing grasp. Jesus, the freaking cold temperature is making my fingers numb. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. Somebody, anyone who finds this note, attach a battery onto this detonator for me. I'm done for. A frozen corpse? This is... First Lieutenant Matt Shugart? He's holding a battery-operated detonator. What was he planning to do with this? Let's find out the fun way, shall we? So, the strategy to avoid damage here is midway down the elevator, kaboom, up the elevator. Oh no, the steel tower! And then over here behind the building. More or less. Yes, they just teleported me around the entire goddamn building. Even though there was still stuff to get over there. And I'm not going to use the term loot because this is long before that term was used in gaming. They were just items, power-ups, things, stuff. Not everything was loot. I do not care that I'm splitting hairs. <laughs> that didn't sound too good. Oh, thanks, Captain Obvious, you dumb son of a bitch. That didn't sound too good. Now, given that we discover later, small spoiler, that these, this creature, this infection, whatever, is vulnerable to cold, and that these are the only forms of it you find out in the extreme cold, you would think their weakness would be like fire or something, and they give you the flamethrower right before you encounter them. But no, the, the flamethrower, in my experience, just doesn't work. At least it doesn't do anything special. Yeah, these things are programmed, so whether you're on this side or that side, they always stay out of view. So you have to go into an area where they can they can navigate to you, they can reach you, before they'll come out and you can actually do something. And wait for him to turn, because he's not vulnerable to damage. Alright, up, 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 up. Wow, great. Face completely the wrong way, Dennis. That's super helpful. They literally run for cover. <laughs> oh, it's so... Uh, it, uh, uh, where do you think you're going, buddy? Oh, buddy, old pal. That's how the weak point hits. See, these things never respawn, which is why I usually kill them. Especially because they're quick, and they can deal a lot of damage. Dennis, what the fuck? Aim in a fucking useful direction. Yeah, this green one is a smaller one. God. Aiming with the left stick, this is like the Dark Ages. And they turn invisible. But like that kind of hokey video game invisibility is not actually all that good. Oh. Right, the auto aim doesn't work when they're like that. Forgot about that. Oh my god, these things are spongy. Uh, 
smaller of the two. Did you make them tanky enough, devs? Probably the streamer. So, well, first of all, because of that whole exchange, I need to replenish my ammunition reserves before we proceed. So yes, if I hadn't gotten the parka, I would be taking damage over time whenever I'm out there in the, the frozen environment. So there's that. Well, we're getting close to the end of Act 1 at long last. Gotta get to building B. I mean, I don't know, an argument could be made that Act 1 extends until after you've armed the detonators, but I, I feel like you're in Act 2 territory then. Come on. There we go. That's still kind of bullshit, by the way, that it blows up for you, but not for the enemy. I don't think that there's anything of value down this. We're just gonna jump it. Wow, that was the most limp jump I've seen. Huh. Okay. Okay. Progress has been made. Only took like an hour, two, or three. I don't understand how that one died, because there's none of the... I call them ice lines. There's no ice lines out here, so how'd that one buy it? on how to get through the water area that I don't need because I already know how to get through the water area. Honestly, I'm more concerned with the garage. You'll know why when we get there. So, this is the water filtration plant. That must be the water reserve. Notice the water acting a little weird? That's not by accident. More 
dog tags that we're not even supposed to be looking for yet, but they're just there. Ah, oh, yeah, this poor bastard. You'll never open the floodgate. No, sir, that part hasn't been explained. Put a handy stop so you don't overreach your jump and roll into the water that will instantly kill you. Time you want to just fall over and be dead, buddy. Things get stun locked after every shot. Now, full, full, oh my god, yeah, I can't control the camera now. Right stick in this game does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. Basically, I suspect this game was intended so you could play it without a dual shock. Like if you just had D-pad. Who are you? Because your D-pad functions as your directional inputs, Sergeant but in Dennis aim Riley, mode, it aims US Marine for you. Special Forces recon. So. Is that uh, so? So the Pentagon sends in the Marines instead of the Army. I see. I'm Carl Morris. <laughs> the commanding officer of Fort Stewart. Well, on paper anyway. What the hell was that thing? What's going on in this facility? Didn't they tell you anything? Tell me what the hell's happened here. <laughs> Look, I'm just a liaison with the boys back home. I don't know any details about the research. Research? On what? Ah, uh, yes, more vagary, of course. <laughs> <laughs> a man named Falcon has full control over the project. He's the one who's really in charge of this research facility. Falcon? The only thing I know is... There's something special about some of the water in this place. Of course... You can't tell just by looking at it. What do you mean? Some of that water was spread over the facility. It's too late now. I'm... Dead. This is the place where the end of mankind begins. Hey! Hang on! Tell me about the water! Yeah, instead of, you know, declarative statements like, I'm dead, before you die, Damn. because that's super helpful. 